everybody. Welcome to Online Story Times with the Worthington Libraries. My name is Miss Karen and I do the story times at the Old Worthington Library. And this week we are going to have you guess the theme of our story time. But first, let's do our opening song, The More We Get Together. Just a quick reminder of the signs for the song. This is more, the more we get together, the happier will be. For your, and friends is kind of a tricky one. We're gonna hug our fingers together. Your friends are my friends. Okay, so let's sing it, you ready? Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now, I'm going to do a poem for you and see if you can use the clues in the poem to figure out what our story time is going to be about. Here we go, you ready? My tail is long. My face is small. I haven't any chin at all. My ears are pink. My teeth are white. I run around the house at night. I nibble things I shouldn't touch. And no one seems to like me much. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's a mouse. Our stories today are all about mice. So the first story I'd like to do with you today is called Mouse Count by Ellen Stoll Walsh. And it is published by Harcourt Grayson Company. Now, grown-ups, in this story, there's a lot of math concepts, so we're going to do some grouping in different numbers and counting, and so I have some props today. Um, as you can see, I have some little mice in the background. Um, they are made out of baby socks, and I, I think having that physical object there helps the kids connect the math concept a little more easily. So if you'd like to retell this story when we're done, you can just roll up some socks um, and do it that way. Some socks in a laundry basket instead of the, the baby mice in the jar. So here we go, you ready? They look like they're having so much fun. One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes and they all took naps. When they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner and on his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner, he said. It wasn't long before he found three mice, little warm and tasty, fast asleep. First, I will count them and then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count. One, two, three. He dropped the mice into the jar. So let's try that. Here's our first little group of mice. One, two, three. Little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. Mouse count. Oops, one started to run away. One, two, three. But that snake was very hungry, and three mice were not enough. Soon he found four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. 
and he counted them. Now, we already have how many in the jar? Three, right? There's one, two, three, four more little mice. So we already have three. Let's add four more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now he has seven mice. But that snake was very, very hungry. And seven mice was not enough. At last, he found three more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep, and he counted them. Mouse count, are you ready? Here's one, two, three. How many did we already have in the jar? Seven, right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's add three more. Eight. Nine, ten. Do you think ten mice will be enough? Let's see. Ten mice are enough. Now I am going to eat you up, little warm and tasty, said the snake. Wait, said one of the mice. The jar isn't full yet. And look at that big mouse way over there. The snake was very greedy. He hurried off to get the big mouse. If you're greedy, it means no matter how much you have, you always want more. So he wants to go get that bigger mouse. And while he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way and another way until over it went. That's where they rocked and rocked and rocked and rocked and rocked. And they uncounted themselves. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And they ran away. The snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. And when he got back, the jar was empty. And that is a very happy little mouse. Now that we've done some mouse counting, I thought it might be fun to do my favorite counting song. And this is called Jumping and Counting by Jim Gill. Jim Gill has given us permission to use any of his music that we want for story times. So thank you very much, Mr. Gill. In order to get ready for our song, we're going to put our numbers up on the board. So count with me, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and what comes next? Ten. Right, let me just get my song started. Jump, 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 jumping high and we But let's stop jumping while we count to three. Just like 
nine, ten. And you can jump right Excellent. back down. Excellent. Let's count down to blast off. Are you ready? Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Good job. All right. Let's play a game now. This one is called Little Mouse in the House. So here we have a little mouse. And here we have four right. houses of different colors. What color is that one? Green. Red. Orange one, and finally, purple, yeah. So here's how we play the game. I am going to hide the mouse in one of these houses, okay? And we are gonna say a little rhyme that says this. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the green house? See how mouse and house rhyme? And we're going to see if you can pick which house the mouse is behind. Now, grown-ups, this is really easy to do at home with some rectangles of paper. You don't have to have a flannel board. You could do it spread out on a table um, with cups. Um, and you can wrap paper, colored paper around them. Um, and it's a really fun game to play. Now, for a baby, I would start off with just one house and then we could say little mouse little mouse are you in that green house let's see <gasps> pick a bow there's the mouse and as they get a little older you could use two different colors of houses Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the red house? No, where do you think it is? Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the green house? Yes, there he is. So you can simplify it or make it a little trickier depending on the age of your child. Now, for you big kids out there, we're going to do all four colors. I'm going to turn the board around a little bit so you don't see which house I'm going to put it behind. Right? Let's see here. <laughs> So we have four houses, and let's see if you can guess which one he is under. What color should we try first? You want to do red first? Here we go. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the red house? No, he wasn't there. What color should we try next? Okay, you want to do purple? Here we go. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the purple house? Oh, no, he's not there either. Hmm, what do you think we should try next? You want to do green? Okay, here we go. Little mouse. Little mouse, are you in the green house? <gasps> no! So where does he have to be? Let's see. Little mouse, 
Little mouse, are you in the orange house? There he is. <laughs> Let's do one more time, okay? <laughs> Color should we try first? You want to do green first this time? Okay, here we go. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the green house? You got him on the first try. Congratulations. Let's take our houses down and our mouse down, and I have one more story for you. The last story I have for you today is Big Bear, Small Mouse, and it is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman, and it is published by Margaret K. McElderry Books. Mouse hops on to Bear. He is careful not to fall. Bear is big, 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 and Mouse is small, small, small. She'll be big. Yeah, how big can you make yourself? Big, big, big. Now show me small. Small, 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 small. Small mouse, big bear. Bear and mouse both wave to their friends as they go past. Badger mosey slowly, but hare runs very fast. Slow badger, fast hare, small mouse, big bear. What's that up above? There's a flutter in the sky. Wren is flying low, while owl is soaring high. There's a clatter in the glen. High owl, low wren, slow badger, fast hare. Big bear. Mole and gopher tunnel up and join the happy crowd. The sun sets on the quiet woods, but all the friends are loud. Quiet woods, loud friends. High owl, low wren, slow badger, fast hare, small mouse, big bear. Raven flies down from the sky. Look, here comes a storm. Outside it's getting wet and cold, but the lair is nice and warm. Lair is another name for the den where the bear lives. All together gathered there, cold night, warm lair. Quiet woods, loud friends, high owl, low wren. Slow badger, fast hare, small mouse, big bear. All right, that was our last story. We're going to do one more rhyme before we do our closing rhyme. And this one is about opposites, just like our book was. High and low are opposites, big and small are opposites. So let's try this one. This is called, This is Big. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall. Tall, can you weigh up high? There you go. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. And this is 
no, no, no. And today there is no more. So let's get ready to stretch way up high so we can tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Now turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends.